Yeah. I'm tongue tied, twisted around your finger like a piece of string. I'm winded, chasing after your ghost is real exhausting. I'm in love, but I don't think it's what I thought it was supposed to be. Love story, no guts and no glory. How did I get so dizzy? Thinking of you, I don't usually get like this. It's something about you I miss. Could it be we never had that kiss? Well, I don't usually get like this. Get like get like. To catch you falling Instead I fell off myself And I just can't stop falling These wings are gonna flap for me If I keep waiting Keep waiting Keep waiting Keep waiting Keep waiting How did I get so dizzy Thinking of you I don't usually get like this Something about you I miss Could it be we never had that kiss? I just wanna kiss you Well, I don't usually get like this Hey besties, what's going on besties, what up, what up, what is going on, oh my gosh, y'all, okay, this was not like, um, this was not super planned, and okay, here, 
Here is the tea for today. First of all, hello everyone. Hello. Is EJ streaming right now? Is EJ also streaming? If EJ, if you are streaming right now, I am so sorry, bestie. <laughs> I am so sorry. But you know, if y'all, y'all can like, you can, oh, he's done. They're done. Okay. Yay. So maybe we'll see, we'll, we'll see them there. Okay, sweet. So the tea, oh yeah, you guys can see the whole office. Except, with the exception of the, the printer, the, pr the printer has to go somewhere else. I do not want this. Um, but everything else is like pretty much kind of almost done. I just, I definitely need a rug in here because the echo is strong. Uh, so I need a rug to just suck up some of the, the sound waves that are coming from here. So here's the tea on this hind. This was not planned. I randomly saw Fang with like the bubble and I was like, you out, <laughs> you out. And I just want to hunt. Like I just wanted to hunt. So we're going to do this speed run because I have to sort of be off by like eight ish. So like we're doing like an hour and a half speed run hunt. And just, we just went somebody cute. Like I'm here for like, okay, I'm also here for like the Shep and Julian vibes in case we run into them. But I'm also here for um, a Teddy moment, right? A Teddy moment. I'm also here for like, maybe a like, welcome back moment. You know, like if we happen to see Anka, I might take her back, but whatever. It's a speed run. Hello, everybody. Hello, Carissa, Michelle, Jess, Jasmine, Mary, Chrissy, Erica, Gabby, Tulips, Desi. Yes, your boyfriend, Teddy. Your BF. <laughs> I re low key, I do want it to be Teddy, but I also, I'm still here for like the chef vibes. Take back barrels, maybe. If it feels, we're just, if it feels right, we're gonna do it. If it feels right, we're gonna do it. Maybe you'll find Sherb again. I hope not, that'd be weird. I'd find Sherb's like weird twin because we already have Sherb. Who are we looking for today? Anybody, anybody, great. But you know what? I got a, I got a limit on normals. We have two and I don't want any more because their dialogue is boring. Although their designs are very cute. So there's that. Who's the number one villager who I don't know. I mean, I, listen, okay, if, you, if I'm gonna be honest, I kinda want Teddy, kinda want Teddy. But you know what, I'll take anybody who's like, in, who's feeling the gang. You guys can see Clover? Can you see, he's, Clover's right there. <laughs> he's on like, he's on another nap after he had, um, he had, he had his dinner. He had a long walk today, so now he's chilling. He's chilling, okay. We should just get into this. I don't know why we don't just get into this. Let's just let's just get into it. Um, Cause I don't, you know, we, if we're gonna speed run it, we just should get into it. <laughs> By the way, okay, guys, I um, had a little collab today with one of my favorite content creators. I'm not gonna tell you who it is, but I'm gonna tell you that we recorded a video and we had so much fun. Well, at least I had fun. <laughs> we had so much fun. I can't wait for you, you guys to see the video. You're gonna love it. It's gonna be a good time. So get excited. Probably out next week. I just have to edit it and stuff. All right, sound, the sound is back. <laughs> oh, you guys, wow, look at the cloud in the background. That is crazy. That is crazy. Yeah, so we had a lot of fun today. We had so much fun recording. So I'm really excited to, for, the, for you guys to see the video. Okay, so here we are. It's a nighttime hunt. We're hanging. Let's just do this. We got 109 tickets. <laughs> we got 109 tickets. Whose house is cute? Is Teddy's house cute? Is Teddy's house cute? <laughs> what time is it where we live? It's like 6, 6.30. Chrissy, I'm not gonna tell you who it is. <laughs> you're gonna have to, you're just gonna have to see. Also, um, I, yeah, I, I have to like be off by eight tonight to cook dinner. <laughs> Do you guys like this outfit, this custom outfit? Is it not the cutest? 
I have a little skirt on underneath it because it's technically like a coat or something to make it look extra cute, like it's a slip or something. I thought that was a stroke of genius. Teddy's house is really cute. He's got a little cabin. Okay, Teddy just like got to number one. What's for dinner? We're making like a, well, I'm making. It's Winnie. We're making, we're making a, um, it's sausage, roasted sausage, mashed potatoes, and Brussels sprouts with like a Dijon sauce. And it's bomb. It's bomb. It's bomb. Yeah, I know I left so fast. Sorry, guys. It's for speed running it. We don't have time to like talk to villagers. Um, it's so bomb. It's like the most delicious. But because you know why? It's the sauce. And every time my husband make it, he doesn't make um, enough of the sauce. And I'm like, you need to make double sauce. Like, you need to make double sauce because like everybody wants the sauce. Where's the lamb sauce? <laughs> Sorry. I'm a little out of control. Consuelo Chavez, I'm good, how are you? Did I move? Yes, we're, I'm in the new house right now. As you can probably hear from all of the echo, because I don't have a rug in this room right now. If you have Teddy on your island right now, you love him. I love Teddy. Teddy is an OG bestie from the original um, Animal Crossing, and um, I love him. But, but Frigia, Frigia, an old friend, you know, we'll just say, what's up? Fast food, you're going on a trip tonight? Chrissy. Are you driving? I, you know what, I hate that, like, um, when you're on a road trip and you have to eat fast food, like, in the car. That's, like, the worst. Are you still streaming tomorrow? Yes. I am. I am. You just got Sprocket on a campsite. How about a nah, bro? <laughs> yeah, Sprocket has, was on my island, uh, like, right at the beginning of, like, my... New Horizons adventure, and I quickly yeeted him. My, you can like see my screen in my blue light glasses. Is it real bad? I mean, it, I these glasses make it so much better. <laughs> I could, I could just turn down the um, the coolness on my monitor though. Are you posting the new house in your oh, in my organizing channel? Yeah, there's um. A video scheduled to go up tomorrow that is like the move-in video um, should go live around 5.15 for everybody. But for members, it went live um, this afternoon. Oh, it's Ellie. Hello. Goodbye. Speed run. Speed run, y'all. <laughs> yeah, the reflection's kind of intense, but I, I'll just, maybe I'll like turn this way. Oh, that's better. I could just like, just chill. Maybe if I like just chill a little bit. No, it still looks, it's still like, <laughs> it's still like really bad. Hello. Oh, there's no bing today. Because I figure, I mean, you can make your own bing if you want. Like if you really want to, you can do your own bing. But I'm I'm hoping, it's, it's gonna be like an hour and a half. So I don't think anyone's gonna get bing in an hour and a half, you know? Thank you, Consuelo. <sighs> yeah, it's kind of a speed run hunt. <laughs> Which is like so dumb. Oh, he's like back sleeping. He was playing his little, with his little ball for a little bit and now he's like just super tired. I hope he's feeling okay. He seems like a little bit off, Clover. Um, so I think I might make an appointment for him, a vet appointment. You know how you can tell like you're, oh, it's Dina. Oh, she's normal. Dina was on the list at one point. I'm, why do you show up now? Um, you know when your pet is like a little bit off? Because I can't tell if it's like because we moved or it's because he's got something going on. So he's also overdue for a, one of those vaccine boosters anyway. So hopefully I'll. Maybe I can kill two birds with one stone there. I played yesterday on Pat's stream for four hours and I only got two spots. Really, Amelia? Oh my gosh. Two, two, 
two. <laughs> I still have to catch up on Pat's live streams. I saw he did like two villager hunts in a row. So I, I'm gonna catch up during like when I'm doing some organizing tomorrow, hopefully. But I'm definitely like, um, I'm definitely, I'm definitely behind in those streams. I can't believe playing Bing for four hours and only getting two, two crossed off. Two including the, the free space or two <laughs> along with the free space. Okay, it's Marina, nah. -uh. <laughs> Two plus the free space, oh my gosh. Well, at least you got like, kinda three. Ki kinda, sorta. <laughs> Real talk, okay, by the, okay, here's, here's the, here's the villager roster if you guys really wanna to play there screenshot that and you can do your own bing <laughs> waiting for nsl nfl season to start wait when did, does that start like uh tonight i was um very tempted by the Monica Lewinsky docudrama <laughs> that is airing right now on like FX. It's called a, a, a American Crime Story Impeachment. Cause I think this is like Ryan Ryan, Ryan Turner. No, that's somebody I know in real life. Ryan Murphy's uh, like crime story show, and it's it's I'm I'm sucked in because I was I remember that I remember that whole thing, and I always felt bad for Monica. I always thought that she got the she got really messed up. Oh, it's cute, Caroline. Sorry, we're gonna leave you, Caroline. I, you know, see ya. Yeah, the American crime thing. <laughs> Emro, I think I saw like I saw most of the Versace one too. It was pretty good. Ryan Murphy. Mar Ryan Murphy's not a good person. What's wrong with him? <laughs> and you're certainly right about that. You're certainly right about that. MJ, you're back from Tunisia. How was your trip? How was your trip? Yeah, the, Ver the Versace, the first Versace, the Versace, the Versace one was like super interesting and like really creepy. Oh, he ruined Glee so much. It was actually well, I only watched like the first few seasons of Glee. Um, how many how many seasons did Glee go for? I really the first like two and. The first few seasons of Glee were really good, and I just kind of fell off. He promised to set up a college fund for her, and never her son and never did. Well, that's horrible. I mean, I guess he's still got time. Because isn't her son, like, really small? Um, let's see. Here we go. Oh, it's Allie. <laughs> Wait, was Ricky Martin in the Versace one? Did I, was I not like not paying attention during the show? I love me some Ricky Martin. Like, let's be honest. Oh, Claire, you watched the new Mar Mar Marie Kondo sh series on Netflix? I was considering watching it and then I just didn't. <laughs> I watched the first one that came out ever and made a video. I don't think I can like recapture that magic. Um, I'm just not. I'll probably watch it, but I'm I'm truly not interested. Her sounds like five or six now. Okay. Oh, he said he would make one within a few months of, his, of her passing. Well, that's kind of poopy if he didn't. I love Maria Kondo though. She's adorable. She's a, like an adorable person. Like I could, I mean, she's very, she's just so cute. <laughs> I love mess. Like that's so adorable. She seems so sweet. All right, here we go. Wait, who's that? It's Clay? Okay, gone. <sighs> oh, it's six seasons of Glee, okay. You know what? Um, 
I hate when shows fall off like that. I like, I like when they, you know, like they, they end the show when it's still good. Like, I feel like they did that with, um, didn't they like end Seinfeld when it was still good? I think, I mean, I love Seinfeld. A lot of people don't like Seinfeld, but I really liked it. I thought it was funny. Um, also they, um, you know what I was surprised that was good till the end was Breaking Bad. Like I was really shocked that that was like good till the end. Like they didn't mess that up at all. Like every season was good and fascinating. Um, we won't say the same thing about Game of Thrones, but the other show that I like, I fell off of, that I watched like the first three seasons of and was I thought was so good and addicted to was Pretty Little Liars. Did anyone watch that show? I, I used to love that. And then like season three came on and I just fell off. I was like, eh, it's boring. <laughs> yes, Breaking Bad is the gold standard. And um, and Better Call Saul is so good. Oh my God, I, how can you do that twice? How can you do that twice? Who it is? <gasps> it's Rosie, really? I mean, Rosie's a really good find. She's not really on the list, but this is a really good find. So anybody who's looking for Rosie, I'm sending you Rosie vibes right now. So, oh, you and, oh, Dusty, you have beef with Rosie right now? <laughs> Sorry. She is really cute. She's like classic Animal Crossing. Pretty Little Liars was amazing until it wasn't. <laughs> okay, everyone else fell off in season three, like me. Like, I was like, is Cora still looking for Rosie? Oh no. Oh no. Right now? Oh no. She'll find her. Oh, she didn't celebrate Desi's birthday. Well, that's, I mean, them's, that's like, that's worth the fight. You know. 1,400 tickets? Oh my gosh. So, yeah, I, I wasn't the only one who, like, fell off Pretty Little Liars, like, super... How many seasons did that go? Like, it's gotta be... It's over, right? We actually, um... We were in, like, a Pretty Little Liars, like, like pool at work when I used to work at the container store. It was, like, it was, like, six of us or something. It was so dumb. But it was, it was fun. Did anyone watch Mad Men? You know what? I watched like four episodes of it and I couldn't get into it. Oh my gosh, it's Whitney. See, we're having, we're running into good villagers at least. Oh, it ended in 2016. Oh, that was a long time ago. Is The Simpsons still good? Oh yeah, the twists. I like, like anytime shows are like, ooh, I'm gonna just so many twists. I'm like, I just, come on, just. Now we're expecting a twist, you know? They can't do it as well as like Ace Attorney, you know? Fang's girlfriend, maybe it could be. Are you looking for a male or villager only? Pretty much. I mean, kind of. Don't say 2016 with a long time ago. It feels like it. In 2016, um, Oh, that's when Clover was born. <laughs> Clover's almost five. He'll be five this month. Oh my gosh, it's almost his birthday. I'm freaking out. <sighs> how is it almost, how is he almost five? I feel like he was just a puppy. Time is going too quickly. It's a lion. I think it's Bud. I'm really not even going over there. But I'm pretty, I'm pretty sure it's Bud the Lion. Anyone here watched any Star Trek shows? Football, I did. Minus Discovery. Is Discovery like the newest one? Or no, there's Picard, isn't there? Isn't that like a new one? But like, I used to watch, well, back when Next Generation was on, when it was on on, I used to watch it three times a day because it came on at six, seven, and 10 o'clock. <laughs> So I used to watch three episodes of Next Generation every single day. Like, I, I was in high school and middle school. I, I was obsessed with it. Hello, 
MC! Um, any lines in Insta? Nope. And like, I used to write like, um, I was a, I'm was i like a huge nerd. I used to write Star Trek fan fiction and stuff. Like, so nerdy. I still have it too. It's gross. <laughs> Eric has a thought bubble. No, no, no. Um, but Next Generation is my favorite, but like, I also watched Voyager and Deep Space Nine and, uh, what else did I watch? I don't remember. Enter Enterprise, I watched a little bit. That's uh, a mouse. <laughs> Which one is that, Brie? I forget. Um, Star Trek Deep Space Nine Supremacy, really? I feel like it's Deep Space Nine, Deep Space Nine felt like the next generation afterthought to me, but it was good. But like parts of me like didn't understand it. Like I was just like, what? What's happening? <laughs> I had a friend told me she wrote Star Tri Star Wars fan fiction, but I'm not sure how true that was. We were young. Oh really? <laughs> she might have. No, I'm not posting the fan fiction to Wattpad at all. That is like the most embarrassing. It's embarrassing. It's horrible. <laughs> Michelle, you're, um, listen, <laughs> this is why we get along because Michael Dorn, like, is everything. Everything. Love me some Michael Dorn. Who dis? It's a chicken. Look at all those chickens. It's Brafina. Isn't it Brafina? Oh. <laughs> I need to bring the stream deck a little closer. Oh, I can't because it's plugged in. Oh, well. Worf is not a merry man. He's not. You think I need Vladimir? <laughs> He's not on the list. Kat just told Pietro he was canceled on my island. D did he really say that? That's hilarious. Oh, that's right, Sammy. I'm sorry. Bruh. Fina. Wesley and Riker girl here. Oh, I was definitely a Riker girl. Definitely. A, I listen. You can definitely have like more than one boyfriend on uh, on Next Generation. <laughs> you can totally have one, more than one boyfriend on Next Generation. Clover's like asleep by the door. Hello, Marie. All right, ladder's out. Ladder's out. Hints. Oh, they're way back there. It's 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 a mouse. It's it's Bella. Oh my gosh, Lavar Burton. Yes. Also, I mean, reading Rainbow is, you know, completely, is like, is, is ultimate. Who's everyone's weirdest celebrity crush? Oh my gosh, I can't wait to see in the comments who everyone's weirdest celebrity crush is. I definitely had some weird celebrity crushes when I was younger. Cause like, I don't know. Like, who did I have a crush on that was like, kind of odd. You know who I had a huge crush on? And I thought was kind of weird? Mandy Patinkin. <laughs> really? <laughs> That's awesome. Jeff Bezos? You're lying. <laughs> well, I mean, you know. He does have money. George Clooney? That's a weird celebrity crush. Michelle. Okay, Jeff Goldblum? I don't think that's weird anymore because Jeff Goldblum is aging like fine wine, okay? I also had a crush on Jeff Goldblum back in like, you know, the Jurassic Park days, but he's just getting hotter. How is that a thing? How is that a thing? Does Keanu Reeves from, from the Matrix count? I mean, I mean, maybe he's, I, I feel like he's a little bit weird. Steve Carell, oh my gosh. 
these girls cute though. Oh, it's Patty. It's Patty. It's Patty. It's Patty. It's Patty. It's Patty. Daniel Craig. That's not weird. <laughs> that's not weird. <laughs> Greg from the Wiggles. <laughs> Wait, I'm not seeing all of them, but I'm like, some of them are like really funny to me. <laughs> Julian Anderson. Is she just getting hotter also? I haven't seen her lately. Yeah, some, a lot of these aren't weird. <laughs> a lot of these are not weird. Um, I'm trying to think. You know who I had a crush on? I, I thought it was kind of, I thought it was kind of funny and weird. Um, it's like a really obscure crush on like, uh, what's the kid's name? And I don't remember. The, he's not a kid anymore. He's like older than me. Um, Wow, I forgot. Wow, that sucks. Last name Underwood, but it was it, like, it, the, he was an actor in the 80s, right? This is how I'm old. He was an actor in the 80s and he was in like a bunch of Disney films. And I remember he was in like The Boy Who Could Fly and, um, and uh, Not Quite Human. I thought he was adorable and I had a crush on him. Another mouse, Scott <laughs> Anacotti. What's the kid's name? It's not Blair Underwood. It's not Blair Underwood. <laughs> this is old. This is from like, this is from back in the day. The Boy Who Could Fly, whoever starred in that, which was like a real, like a weird movie. Do you guys remember that movie? It's kind of weird. I saw it and I was like, Jay Underwood, thank you, Sammy. Jay Underwood. He's not an actor anymore. I think he's like uh, a minister or something now. He like went, he didn't, he left, he left Hollywood. Jay Underwood, when he was younger. <laughs> like, he was adorable. Vanilla Ice. Some of these are, like, amazing. I love it. I love it. Gary Oldman. I don't think that's a weird one. I do not think that's a weird one. I think Gary Oldman, objectively handsome. <laughs> Used to watch those movies on repeat on Disney Channel? See, there you go. Your most embarrassing crush is Zac Efron. <laughs> well, okay, Marie. Like, if I were young enough to have, like, been at the age to, like, have a crush on Zac Efron when Zac Efron was, like, on Disney, I would have had a crush on Zac Efron. He was cute. Um, Peaches, no, never again. Like, literally, literally, did I miss Money Island? Oh well. Literally, I, I mean, new kids on the block, like I had a crush on all of them, but especially Jordan. And then when I met him in the street in Boston, it was like, I didn't know what to do with myself. Because you know how some celebrities don't look as good in person as they do in like magazines and videos and stuff? Jordan Knight was the most handsome person in person. Like, he had perfect skin. He was just... He was impeccably handsome. It was ridiculous. I... I, I, I couldn't believe it. I couldn't believe it. Robert Downey Jr., also not a weird one. I had a crush on Robert Downey, Robert Downey Jr. as well. Total crush. Total crush. Especially, um... I, you know what? I still do. I literally still do. I think he's still, like, so handsome. Uh, what was that really cheesy movie that... Um, it was Maria Tomei and... Oh. <laughs> and Robert Downey Jr. And, and they were, like, in Italy. And it was, like, a really bad... Um, Winnie again? Really? It was, like, a really bad rom-com, but I loved it. What was that called? I love that movie. It was so dumb. Okay, again, this is not weird. This is not weird. Bruh. This is not weird. Gordon Ramsay, objectively, just ob objectively yummy with a spoon. I'm sorry. Like, objective. Objective. Not even subjective. Like, it's just understood that he's yummy with a spoon. Only you. Thank you. Thank you. How do you guys remember these old movies? 
I had it on VHS and I used to watch it all the time. All the time. Oh man, thank you for telling me the name of that. I'm gonna see if I can look it up on like a streaming service. Ew, not Gordon. Oh my, I love Gordon. I love Gordon. Like, ooh, I love Gordon Ramsay. Oh my gosh. Yummy with a spoon. <laughs> yeah, none of these are weird. <laughs> All of these are good. Simon Cowell. Jen, even with the teeth, he got the, he got these new teeth. Tipper. I think Simon Cowell looked better with his old teeth. He got like super white veneers. Why do people get really white veneers? Like, why can't they make him like a little bit yellow, like real teeth? You know what I'm saying? I don't know. Maybe he want he really wanted them. Maybe he really wanted them. I don't know. Still hot? Okay. <laughs> Um, what I, what, you know what really upsets me though when I was, cause we were watching, um, we, my husband and I like to watch like really, uh, trash TV sometimes during dinner. Leonardo DiCaprio, again, not weird. Um, we, we were watching like Bachelor in Paradise. Like that's really bad, right? Like that's like the bottom of the barrel television. But you know, we turn our brains off for like an hour and a hour and a half. And like some of them get plastic surgery and they look so much worse. Like, I don't, like you were so pretty. Why did you, why did you get, why did you do that? I don't understand. People are so pretty and they look, and they just, people are so pretty. If you're already on The Bachelor or The Bachelorette, you're already really pretty. Like, I don't understand. Okay. It's Monty, which is budget deli. I will say all the way, it's like dollar store deli. Deli is a cute monkey. And like, the Monty is not, I'm sorry. I said what I said. Christopher Walken? <laughs> really? Mark McGrath? <laughs> Did he get like super um, severe plastic surgery? You love Ricky Gervais? No, that's not weird. Because you know what is super attractive is somebody make you laugh. You know, that's like super attractive. I always like real talk. My first ever boyfriend ever. I was like 14. My first ever boyfriend in like eighth grade was the class clown, like the popular class clown. And like he was like everything to me. He was like the first boy I ever kissed too. It was so crazy. We're still friends on Facebook. I still like I check him out every now and again, see what he's see what he's up to. It's really fun. Oh, I think I like smudged my glasses. Oh, I did. Hold on, hold on, folks. Oh man, I got too excited. You had a huge crush on River Phoenix. <laughs> That's dating us both. Uh, yes. <laughs> Jenny, I definitely have, um, no, e Eve doesn't care. He wouldn't, he's like, I definitely have a, still have a crush on Eve. Okay, this is uh, Vic. Friends. Oh, Alan Rickman, me too. Oh my God, the best voice. The best voice. Every time, sometimes um, Eve will be up here in the office talking to me. Like he'll come up for, from work on a break. And I'll be like, you're so cute. <laughs> so cute. Listen, I also had a crush on um, Michael J. Fox. We're talking like Family Ties days and, um, and Back to the Future vibes. Major crush, major crush. <laughs> I mean, it's true, Anne. I'm not gonna put the comment on the screen, but it's true. <laughs> now we're talking about Gluteus Maximus. <laughs> Everyone crushed on Michael J. Fox back then? It was not just me. I thought he was so cute. Yeah, Eve is so handsome. I like, I keep telling him, I'm like, I never, I, I never got a chance to like, to like be with such a handsome man. 
What's his name from Silver Spoon? Ricky, Ricky, uh, what is his name? What's his last name? Ricky something. Oh my God, wrong bear, Tutu. Not a bad bear though. Uh, Ricky Schroeder. Ricky Schroeder was pretty cute. You know who I had a crush on on the Silver Spoons though? The Silver Spoons, what am I, 80? Um, Alfonso Ribeiro, who is like slightly problematic now, I think, but like was super cute on Silver Spoons. Also, <laughs> these, <laughs> these are all of these crushes are dating me. Okay, spoiler alert, I had a crushes on a lot of celebrities, okay? Does anybody remember? This is like old lady talk. Hold up, what did Carlton do? <laughs> I don't know, he's just saying some problematic stuff on Twitter, I think. Um, does anybody remember Kids Incorporated? <laughs> because as a child of the theater, I was very into Kids Incorporated. I wanted to be on Kids, Incorpor Kids Incorporated. Like it was like my life dream. So I watched it every Saturday and I definitely had a crush on Rashawn Patterson. Not because he had the same last name, name as me, but because he was cute and he's still on the Twitters. But I had a big crush on Rashawn Patterson. Yes, Fergie was on it, yes. Kids Incorporated. Gail, K, I, D, S, yeah. Kids Incorporated. K, I, D, S, O, looks like we made it. We're Kids Incorporated. Yeah, Jennifer Love Hewitt was on it. Who else was on Kids Incorporated? Martika. <laughs> Did Martika like disappear into obscurity? Wasn't like um, Ricky Martin also on Kids Incorporated? You had a crush on Donnie Wahlberg? I mean, kind of same. You think anyone with the last name Patterson is cool? Well, cool, thank you. You can still hear the theme songs? Yes. See, like... Um, oh, he was Menudo. Yes. Okay. I, um... All of those, like, 80s jingles and stuff, like, especially commercials, and th they're very, they're very good at sticking in your head. Where are we? What is this island? <laughs> Every time I come here, I'm confused. Because I've been here a few times, and every time I come here, I'm confused. It's Cranberry! Everybody say hello to Cranberry and goodbye. Uh, set up Kaiba? <laughs> okay, Dr. Super Superstition. I don't know if you win, but any, like, anime character I feel like is on the list, but also not on the list of weird crushes. Because I could see that. <laughs> I could see that. <laughs> If you had to date a villager, who would you date? Wow. Um. <laughs> I don't know, but I'll take a break from answering that to uh, say, Jen, welcome to the Strawberry Patch. Thank you so much for joining. Enjoy your emojis and early access to videos. Thank you so much. Um. Everybody else has a crush on Seto Kaiba too? That's hilarious. You guys just wanted his blue eyes, white dragon. That's all you wanted. If I had to date a villager, I mean, this is getting into like, this is getting weird, right? Um. I mean, Marshall. <laughs> Maybe Marshall. Okay. It's, uh, I forgot her name. The black sisterly uh, pig who's real cute. What's her name again? Starts with A or something, doesn't it? Agnes, thank you. <laughs> People that have real crushes on Flick scare me. <laughs> Um, oh, you know what got really weird? Speaking of like weird crushes, speaking of weird crushes, and this now like is crossing 
is is integrating now with video games. Um, but if you all played Breath of the Wild, the what the the prince the the um what was his name Prince Sido is that was was that his? I feel like it was that. The, the water people. Now I'm like, I, my brain is going blank. Prince Sidon, okay. My, <laughs> what, is the, what is the water race of people called again? I completely forgot. Um, the, um, <sighs> going blank. I'm going blank. Who dis? Who, it's Renee. It's Renee. Um, I'm trying to remember. The Zora, thank you. I would not have. I would not have remembered. I, my mind was going blank. So the Zora Prince, Prince Sidon. Everybody was like, literally, just the thirst, <laughs> the online thirst for Prince Sidon was like, um, it was a thing. It was so bizarre. <laughs> it was bizarre and hilarious at the same time. There were like. The fan art and the th the online thirst, it was hilarious. I loved it. I loved it. Shannon, I also had a crush on Brent Spiner. You were not alone. <laughs> I think it was more of like the weird, like... <laughs> Pizza catch? Okay. <laughs> You found Nan? Congratulations. <laughs> Good old Data. Yeah, I had a crush on Data too. Oh my, what is going, the conversation about Tom Nook, I'm not even gonna address in the comments. <laughs> oh, it's a Roo and it's it's my least favorite Roo too. So we're gonna just, we're just gonna go and pretend that we didn't see Astrid because like me and Astrid have beef going back like 20 years and I just can't handle it. <laughs> I just, I just, nah, it's not for me. <laughs> um, I think Del Toro, the Shape of Water director, liked a piece of Link and Sidon fan art on Twitter. Really? Oh my goodness. <laughs> The Tom Nook chat is definitely making me LOL. <laughs> Hello, Mika-chan. Did you watch The Mask of Zoro? I did not. I did not. But that also, speaking of like, I mean, actors who are like delicious. It's like, I think, isn't it full of them? I mean, I think, the, I think the main, the main... <laughs> The main takeaway from this conversation is that, like, most crushes on anyone aren't weird. <laughs> you know? Oh, boy. Oh, wait. No, that... Here we go. All right. Not Sky again. Oh, we'll just do the vibe check, okay? Uh oh, wow. 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 Wow, really? My childhood crush was Aladdin from the animated movie. You know what? That's also not weird. <laughs> Have a good time back at work, Savannah. Thanks for stopping by. Sky's your dreamy. She's awesome. She was awesome when I hap. Oh, you Jess, you still have her? You still have the old Sky? How's she doing? How's she doing? Lisey, uh, Lizzie, you like uh, Elvis? Elvis Presley? <laughs> Dana, I am streaming tomorrow still. Yeah. 
Elvis Presley is one I can't get on board with, but like you do you. <laughs> oh my gosh, I have to like, hold on. I made the worst noise, like. <laughs> Aladdin was drawn to look like Tom Cruise. Are, are you really? <laughs> Tyra, welcome. <laughs> um, let's see here. Uh, this Caesar, Caesar, Caesar. He was drawn to look like Tom Cruise. I had a crush from Swoop on Swoop from Transformers. I don't, I don't know who that is. <laughs> Transformers the cartoon or Transformers like in the movie? Oh, Michelle, yes! Let Mets let Mitzi go for Rosie. Mitzi Rosie's more spicy anyway. Maybe she'll come back, who knows? Clover's still sleeping near the door. A robot from... <laughs> <laughs> From the cartoon? Oh my gosh, Prisca. They were told to make Aladdin look like Tom Cruise. That's so weird. <laughs> you have a crush on Steven Tyler? Well, that's okay. <laughs> Steven Tyler's um, otolaryngologist is like the number one otolaryngologist in like the Boston area. He's like the guy to go to if you're a singer and you've got problems. Well, I don't, I don't know if he practices anymore. Renee. Um, but I know he came to speak at my school and he talked about Steven Tyler's vocal folds and said they were messed up. But he said that's part of his brand and he's not, he's not, he wouldn't go in and repair them or anything like that because that was like part of his brand. But he said they were messed up. Messed up. <laughs> Nodules and stuff all over him. You met you met Steven Tyler when I when you were 15? Was he nice? I mean I'm sure he was nice. Right? Not a lot of people who are like when you meet celebrities are like not not nice. You know? Parkour, we're hunting for anyone cute, but mostly Teddy. <laughs> I mean, there was a celebrity that I like sort of met who I wasn't impressed with uh, at a rehearsal I attended. Their behavior. I just thought she was a little bit high maintenance. Marie Osmond. I'm sorry, Marie, if you're watching my channel right now, but like one time I saw you at a rehearsal and it just, it just wasn't it. D is this not the place where I should be going? Did I botch this? Did I botch this? Oh, for real? <laughs> you gotta love, you know what? You know what I love? Slow mode. Slow mode is so helpful. <laughs> That's why it's, 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 that's why we got, oh my gosh, it's Bud the Lion again. That's why we got a 10 second slow mode, Soli. <laughs> so we got time. So we got time. Oh, Amelia, you're still in mod <laughs> You can just come over here and chill. <laughs> Yeah, the only reason we have slow mode on, like the 10 second slow mode is be, like, so that like you you could, it's, you could do a real fast, a real fast like fly swat of bots. <laughs> real fast, like a little, like a, like a swat, swat. He was in patch stream too? The bots been working overtime? <laughs> really? I don't understand. Thank you, Mika Chan. Clover, you good? Hey, Kay, would Nan work for a winter themed island or should I keep looking for winter villagers? I think Nan works for a winter themed island. I think Chevra works a little better. 
Cause she's she's already got like kind of a wintery coat on, but like you can make anyone work. You could just give them like if you really if you really like them, you can like give them a nice winter outfit. Who is this? Oh, it's Gaston. <laughs> yeah, um, the whole thing with bots on Twitch and the, like, the hate raids, that's scary. That's some scary stuff. I literally have a Twitch account and I've never streamed on it because I just, I was like, oh man, I'll test the waters, but I'm like, I don't know. <laughs> Seems like a pain in the butt to me, but the, the viewer experience on Twitch is so is 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 above the viewer experience on YouTube. But I feel like YouTube will catch up to Twitch apparently with the viewer experience, and then there will be no reason to go to Twitch. But it's a hard it's a hard thing because I like Twitch, man. But like the hate race? Like, who's got time for that? <laughs> who's got time? Yeah, I don't know how they solve the bot problem. Like, how do they do that? I was watching, um, oops, who was I watching? Uh, I was watching somebody talk about it. And they had good points about like, how it's Boon. How it would be really hard for Twitch to actually solve the bot problem. Um, and how I think it's the, the, I don't know. I can't remember anybody's name today. I'm like a disaster. Oh, Kim, thank you so much. Darren something. Talks about like Twitch stuff all the time. I was, kind of was into his content a little bit. Cause I like, I like to watch that stuff. Just even though I'm not on Twitch, I kind of like to check out to see what's going on on Twitch as far as like the analytics, the experience, what's going on behind the scenes. Cause I, I'm just like into it. I'm out for a small streamer and essentially we have to hook up, look up particular names. Uh, the, the hater bots assigned. Oh my gosh. What, I mean, what a pain. Ah, yes, Tyra, they need to set up two, uh, two factor authentication. So not the same email can be used for multiple accounts. Interesting, interesting. Tyra, have you had any trouble on Twitch since like this craziness started? I know that you stream over there. Um, Cause it just seems like they, it's like, an, it's almost like they don't, it seems rampant, rampant. Another Rue. It's Walt. How are we doing on ticket tickets, by the way? Oof. <laughs> oh yeah, Alan Rickman, I heard that. I heard that she won to start a valley tournament. That's so fun. And I have not, um, I have not played The Sims since the, uh, the spa day refresh because I have not had time, <laughs> but I really want to. I met Robin Williams back in the 90s. Nicest guy to his face. Oh my gosh, that's so sweet. Oh. Robin Williams. He's so, I, I miss him so much. Oh, you've had some of the accounts follow you, Tyra. Oh, that's, ugh. That's so weird. You know, like, why would you do that? Why would you do that? Ivy, it's your first stream. Well, welcome. Welcome to the stream. We are doing a villager hunt, but like a speed run style villager hunt. So we're just trying to get, we're just trying to get a villager as fast as possible so that I can cook dinner for my husband. Ignore unpacking, you just play video games. Kids. I mean, very tempting, very tempting. It's coach, it's coach. Oh, another one. Um, I, what was I gonna say? I have been so slow at unpacking, like so slow. 
Because I did the kitchen on the first day. Ellie, thank you so much. I did the kitchen on the first day, right? And um, then I did the bathroom and the bedroom-ish. We got that set up. And then I just got really... I just slowed down. Because I've been really tired. <laughs> I saw we have a party pooper. They're not getting the song. <laughs> I mean, should they get the song? Coach needs to shave. He does. I mean, do we have time for the song? It's been a long time since we've done the party pooper song. So if you're new here, if you, if you press the thumbs down button, we respect you. God, the cows. And we, we sing a song for you. Oh, they, oh, you've given it up. Well, we'll sing it, we'll sing it for you anyway, after the fact, okay. Are we ready? Are we, are we ready? All right, hold on. Hold on. Every party needs a pooper. That's why we invited you. It's too low. Party pooper. Party pooper. Okay. Back at it. Back at it. <laughs> Teddy is really cute. I want him. Where's he at? He's probably in my move in queue. <laughs> He's probably in my move in queue. Oh yeah, Clover's still sleeping back there. <laughs> He's usually done by like, um, by like, like nine o'clock. He wants to go to bed. And he loves, he, he, he's obsessed with going to bed at the same time as me. So he's like, you, you know, you want to go to bed, right? You know, you want to go to bed, right? <laughs> I'm like, I'm like, can you stay up a little later? Gracie is a loaf of bread. Oh, your cat, Gracie. I thought you were talking about Gracie, Grace, Gracie. I was like, what does that mean? <laughs> a Clover's grandpa confirmed he is. He is. He loves going to bed. But to be fair, I love going to bed too. It's another mouse. I don't even know which mouse that is, but we're we're not we're not staying to find out. Which mouse was that? It was like uh, Harriet. Welcome. We're hunting for anybody cute, but mostly Teddy. Samson, thank you. Anybody cute, but mostly Teddy. This Teddy's amazing. I um was catching up on work. Yeah, like, cause I haven't really had time to like answer emails and stuff. And, or I've, I've had time, but I haven't had the energy to answer emails and stuff over the past week cause the move. I mean, I answered like important emails, um, but some stuff fell through the cracks and I was just like, I spent all day yesterday like just answering emails <laughs> and I'm just over it. <laughs> Would I take Bunny if I found her? I mean, I don't know. I don't know. Okay, Kaylin. Well, I mean, listen. I mean, this is this is a reality of life. You know, it's just a reality. I also hope you can as well. <laughs> okay. Wait, is this one actually Deli? Yes, this one's actually Deli. Very cute. Deli's the cutest monkey, fight me. Well, Nana's pretty cute too. <laughs> well, you said you hadn't been able to answer emails, etc. because of the moon. <laughs> because of the moon, on certain days of the month, I just can't, I can't do it. <laughs> the moon. Those are like, that's my new excuse for like, when I like, don't do stuff. I mean like, you know what? It was the moon, the moon. 
Oh wait, you guys are like exchanging uh, strategies for avoiding the um, the hate bots. You didn't like Deli? Oh, I liked him. I think he's cute. The moon is a great excuse. Also, I swear, when I was working retail and there was a full moon out, people would legit act act different. And I, f I feel like it was a th it was like a legit thing. <laughs> Jess, you used to think the moon followed you as a child. <laughs> can you can you explain that a little further? Like, <laughs> wait, look, there's another one. Oh, it's Vesta. Vesta's cute. Why does the bot only come in here and 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 have emojis? Like the emojis? I don't understand. <sighs> or no, not emojis, just exc exclamation. Vesta is Vesta. <laughs> We're talking about IKEA, IKEA here. <laughs> Ask any nurse about full moons. Really? It's a thing. I feel like it's a thing. I feel like it's a thing. See, I don't want to be like turning on like subscriber only chat mode because, you know, I want everybody to come in here and chat. But, you know, if it continues, <laughs> might have to be a thing. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> yeah, you were going to tell your moon story, Jess. I'm, I want to hear that. I have a question. Notice you had your iPad on one of your ring lights. And it, oh, no, it just, just the, the holder for the iPad is, is like just on there. Just for have to have a place to put it where I can find it. There's no reason for it. <laughs> but thank you for your question about my setup though. Where are we? Where? Oh, I know where we are. That's fine. Um, jeez. Where's the villager though? Y'all. <laughs> of course it's Coco. <laughs> of course Coco would be here. <laughs> Subscriber only chat doesn't get rid of it? Oh yeah, because they can subscribe. Of course Coco is here. Why would why would Coco not be here? <laughs> on on Scorpion Island. <laughs> like legit. Isn't this weird? I, these islands are weird to me. Um, but we're we're just gonna go. That that was weird. Ooh. I love Coco though. Coco is awesome. We can't have her though because she's normal, and I just I can't do it. I just I can't do it. Ooh, you know who else is on my list of like villagers I would really want? Lucky. Crafty cat, really? Oh my gosh. You've never found Scorpion Island? Well, well there it is for you. <laughs> oh, Jacari, have a good sleep. Have a good sleep. Why is she normal when she looks like that? I don't know. <laughs> she's uh, she's creepy cute. She's she's a creepy cute girl. How do you think Lucky got his bandages? I don't know. I wish that they would tell like an origin story for Lucky, cause like, I just need to know. But he's also like super cute and I would not be able to turn him down. Okay, I'm on like full autopilot. Oh, you thought I said Plucky? I did not say Plucky. <laughs> cause Plucky can stay gone from St. Rosie. I must keep passing the villager. Hello? Ugh. Look at all those chickens. Okay, it's the Renaissance dress. Becky with the good hair, isn't it Becky? <laughs> Plucky equals yucky. Michelle, you love Plucky? Oh, 
wasn't it a skiing accident? I don't know. I don't think that I've ever had a dog on St. Rosie. So I think like um, Lucky would be really fun. Although I've never had the big one of the big bears either, so. Lucky's per he's pulling an insurance scam. No, he's cute. <laughs> Plucky won you over? Well, good for her. <laughs> there, I got it. Plucky never won, won me over. Plucky was there from the beginning, and I was like, who is this chicken? Because I I never liked the chicken Animal Crossing, except for Hank. Hank was the best chicken. Lucky's re an e-reader card says he got in a fishing accident? Really, Anne? Well, e-reader is going way back, though. It's going back. What we do here is go back. It's Victoria. Every time I see Victoria, this is such like, I don't know. I don't know if, I don't even know if this story is like worth telling because it's so inside. It's like serious inside baseball of like just singer stuff. But there, if you're a classical singer, like of any generation, you have been raised and learned a song or eight out of this song book called the 24 Italian Art Songs and Arias book. And it has 24 kind of mediocre, um, <laughs> another one? <laughs> kind of mediocre, uh, well, some of them are good, kind of mediocre songs in it. And one of them is called, uh, is called Vittoria. So every time I see Vittoria, I'm like, Vittoria, Vittoria. Da, 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 da. That was like, really, that just, that wasn't worth, that was not worth telling at all. But there are many like, like memes and inside jokes about the 24 Italian art songs that like we're forced to learn as like a young singer. Cause like, I think they, 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 they get done often so badly. <laughs> Because they're like songs you learn when you're learning to sing. Okay, it's uh, this one is Mallory, isn't it? Yeah. <gasps> Melissa, thank you for joining the strawberry patch. Enjoy your and enjoy your emotes and <laughs> early access to videos. Enjoy. Are they to classical singers that Wonderwall is to guitarist? Is that, I don't know, is that a thing? Do all guitarists learn Wonderwall? Cause like the 24 Italian art songs. Like I'm pretty sure I could play a clip and not get copyright claimed of like the soundtrack of these 24 Italian art songs and, and cause they're just, they're awful. They're awful. Tyra, I don't know how many accounts they're gonna make. It's so bad. <laughs> um, some of the like the most fun recordings are like recordings of like actual um professional singers singing the Twenty Four Italian Art songs, because then they're like they sound good. But um, you can see all like all over YouTube of like just like people who like it's, like they're. 10th voice lesson or whatever. <laughs> it just, like, it's not, it's not it. It's not it. It's not it. Okay, here we go. Uh, it's another duck. It's uh, Mael. This is Mael. Yeah. Mael. How are we doing on tickets? How are we doing on tickets? Oof. <laughs> I think I have the 24 Italian art songs like in my library because I used to um, teach voice lessons. Never again. You know, some things I'm just not, I'm just not meant to do. And one of them is teach voice lessons. Just didn't like it, not into it. Miranda, hello. Welcome to the stream. Yeah. 
They are trying to live here rent free back it up. You mean the bots? <laughs> yeah, I don't know. Oh, your daughter wants to say hi? Well, hello, Miranda's daughter. Hello. I hope you're having a good day. Erica, hi! How are you? Welcome to the stream. Forest Sprout, welcome. Okay, here we are. Here we are. Uh, another, it's, who is that? <laughs> Angus? Did you have pretty good on the, on the, on the, on the uh, speed run? Here's my question. Here's my question. What if like, <laughs> if in theory I auto-filled again, what are the chances Ava would come back? Do they auto-fill twice? Is this a question for Cora Mora? <laughs> Miranda, I'm looking for anyone cute, but especially um, Teddy or um, Lucky. Or I'm still I'm still on the hunt for like Julian and Shep. Ava can't come back. Okay. Shep would be a really good find. So we've got several like prospects in the pool. Oh, you guys didn't realize Black Widow went up? Yeah, Black Widow. No, episode three went up. It was really fun. Um. Dream Home Decorator comes back next week. All right, here we go. What the? Look at all those chickens. <laughs> but I'm curious if you got another mod's voided villager. No, I did. Um, it was who is Gabby's Island Pinky Chew? Because <laughs> that's where she came from. That's exactly where she came from. She told me herself. She told me explicitly she moved here from Pinky Chew. <laughs> and I was like, you can move out. <laughs> oh man. Like, Ava was cute. Okay, Ava was cute. I'm not even gonna hate on her too much because she was she was cute for a chicken. But she wasn't staying. You haven't picked up your switch since April, and now I'm scared your villagers hate you. Um, wow. <laughs> well, luckily it's not like GameCube, because in GameCube they would definitely dress you down for that. Uh, but in New Horizons they're like way nicer. Oh my God, Naomi. Yes, it is a pro design, um, Sky Mori. It's a pro design plus a, a skirt underneath to make it look like she's wearing a slip. I accidentally inherited a maven from a friend's island and at first hated her. Then I left her and then let her move. I felt so bad I bought her amiibo card, really? That's a, that's a, that's a roller coaster. That is a roller coaster if I've ever seen one. Right, I'm feeling a little bit um, w wicked dack. Hold on. Or my dack. It's wicked dack down there. Oh my, I heard the most Massachusetts thing I've ever heard in my entire life the other day. Um, hold on, give me one sec. Uh, oh. Well. I mean, maybe really I should just turn up the lights a little bit. There you go. Now you can see my face. I mean, not that you want to see my face, but just in case you didn't want it to. So my husband and I were walking, we were walking our dog yesterday. And I heard this woman. First of all, she was yelling at her kid because the kid was having a, like a meltdown in front of the house. All I could hear was like, Meh! she was like, hurry up, hurry up. You're going to make me late. And then she was like, she was like, there's a huge bug near my car. 
And I was just like, I love it here. <laughs> Thank you, Ewan. These are like, these are, um, these are blue light glasses so that I don't, um, so my eyes get less tired. Who's here? Oh my, it's Apollo. That's a huge bug near my car. <laughs> the um, Boston accent is like my favorite. I love it so much. My grandpa from Boston says huge instead of huge and it's hilarious. It's huge, huge. I love it. There really is no place like Boston. Um, the, the Christmas tree shops, like the, um, the commercials that, I don't, I don't know if they have these commercials on anymore, but when I was in college and I was still watching television, the commercials for the Christmas tree shops were the funniest thing in the world. Cause like, if you're not familiar, is Christmas tree shops like a national chain? I don't know if it is, but like around here, I didn't know what that is until like I came here. I was like, what is Christmas tree shops? And why do they sell Christmas trees year round? Spoiler alert, they don't, they just sell, well, they sell Christmas trees, but they also just sell like, like the garbage, just junk. I mean, stuff you don't need. <laughs> and they're like, this snowman, <laughs> I got this snowman mug for $4.99. I got one from my sister. My brother, my mother, it's so cute. Only for $4.99. And I, this, who's, which mouse? Is, are we seeing all the mice? Oh, this is Patina. I like this mouse. Um, but it was hilarious. Hilarious. Like, and they were real, like, they were real people. Like, they were in the Christmas tree shops. And they're like, what have you purchased today? And it was, it was something like they didn't need. You know, it was like, um, <laughs> I got this skeleton yard decoration for only two ninety nine. <laughs> I and the and the whole and their whole like um uh, uh, slogan was "Don't you just love a bargain?" Wait, is was that was that Christmas tree shop? They're like, "Don't you just love a bargain?" <laughs> I loved it. Oh, it's regional. Okay, you have them in Delaware. <laughs> the literally, like, I if you go in Christmas tree shop, you're looking, you are gonna come out with something you you, you hundred percent don't need. It's like weird kitschy stuff. Like again, like a snowman mug that's like shaped like a snowman. You don't, you don't need this. <laughs> Um, real story. Oh, it's it's Lopez. Real story. I got a fake can. It looks like a Ouija a Ouija board. <laughs> what? <laughs> That's so weird. Did I smudge my glasses again? I did. I'm getting good at this. <laughs> Nora, the villager hunting is going okay, I guess. Emily, we're doing great. How are you? Oh, you have the North Carolina as well? It, is it like an East Coast thing maybe? Because like I had never seen a Christmas tree shop until I moved to Massachusetts. I was like, what is this? Okay, you like some of their Halloween stuff. Okay, that's fair. You got, you got frames. Wait, oh, like picture frames? Not like, not frames. <laughs> But like every time I go in Christmas tree shop, I'm like, what am I doing in here? <laughs> I know I grew up on the East Coast, but I legit have never seen a Christmas tree shop in anywhere other than Massachusetts. <laughs> but to be fair, oh, it's Scoot. Um, I had never seen a few things until I moved to Massachusetts that are like technically everywhere, but I just never experienced it before, including this part of the stream where like, we starts to get icky. House centipedes. 
I had never seen anything like that until I moved to Boston and went into and moved into the dorms. And neither had my roommates. My roommates were from Baltimore and uh, and North Carolina, and we had never, ever seen a house centipede. Now, if you don't know what it looks like, it looks like a little tiny lobster, and it but it, it's it's a bug, and it goes like 40 miles an hour if you try to get it. It's harmless. <laughs> it's eating insects. But it's definitely not like it's a, it's kind of a scary looking bug. They're actually they're harmless. They eat insects. They're actually good for your house. But you don't really want them in your house because they're kind of creepy, and they um and they're real fast. So like here's a story. <laughs> Hello, where's the villager? So I lived. Oh, it's Pudge. He's cute. I lived in a in a triple. With um, oh yeah, they have sixteen pairs of legs, Jen. Je like this it's no it's no joke it's really scary they have 16 pairs of legs okay so listen when i my freshman year in college <laughs> melissa you googled them everybody googled them and is like getting upset so my freshman year in college my roommates um we, we had never seen one before and i was I was, it was like one in the morning and I was asleep because I had really early like language classes. And I heard, I like, I, I heard my roommates like, like whispering, but also saying like, oh my God, oh my gosh, what's going on? What's going on? What's going on? Oh my gosh. And I was like, I woke up and I'm like, what is, wh why are you guys, what is going on? And they, they saw this house centipede like on the wall or like climbing and they were like the biggest bug in the world because it was a big one too they were like the biggest bug in the world is on the wall and we don't know what to do um what bug is it desi it's a house centipede house centipede and um, wendy hello and so for the, for 20 minutes we hunted down this house centipede. Now, if you don't know, it's Rocco or Biff, one of them. If you don't know, if you like attack them with something like a newspaper, they kind of get, they run at you instead of away from you. And they're really fast. And it climbed up the, we had this like shelving system in our room. Cause we lived in like a old brownstone at Bob's Conservatory, which was really cool. But like, it was real high. So we were up on a ladder trying to get it. And we saw like, it was so big that when it approached the end of the shelving, it made it like a shadow that we could see, like on the wall. And um, eventually we, <laughs> it like fell off the shelf and we got it out of the room, but it was very dramatic. <laughs> And I actually, I saw them in my apartment after I moved out, after we got out of college. And I had them in my apartment, um, my first like one bedroom apartment. Like I had them all the time because I lived on the first floor and they just came in. And they always, they are attracted to moisture. <laughs> you guys hate this. They're attracted to moisture, so they, for that reason, they get, they climb in your tub basin, but they get stuck in there. So I learned very quickly to, um, this one is, which one is this one? I learned very quickly to look in the tub basin before I got in, because one time I got in with the centipede like with the shower on and everything and it was like not it was not a good time this is weber okay <laughs> to be fair how centipedes are harmless and eat smaller insects in your house there's a friggin scorpion there um however uh i don't really want to share my home with them <laughs> And I, I love, I love bugs and I'm sorry, 
Centipedes are not insects. They're arthropods, yes. Um, but <laughs> I just don't, I don't want them in my house. Cause they're just, they're too fast. And the way that they move is very creepy. <laughs> I have many bug stories. Like I have endless bug stories. One time, <laughs> these are really dumb. One time in graduate school, um, we had, we were, we, there was this class that was called graduate seminar and it did, they just had like a bunch of professors come and teach for a few weeks and they'd have us write a paper and then we'd, they'd send the next one in, you know, and this dude from MIT came in. I forgot his name. Oh, it's a uh, pecan. Come on. And he was talking about... They did this like whole dissertation about time and stuff. And it just, it didn't, it didn't make sense to me. <laughs> and it didn't make sense to my friend and I. So we, we were like, just, we would sit in the front row though at graduate seminar. So we would sit really close to the professor and be able to see what was happening. And he, there was this chair that sometimes the professor would sit in. And so he's talking. And this spider is descending from the ceiling on a spinneret very slowly, right over this professor's chair. So you you can't really say anything, you know. Like you're a graduate student, you know. You're no you're a nobody. You you're not gonna be like, dude. <laughs> There's a spider gonna descend on your chair any moment. And it just kept coming down, coming down. And the poor guy sat on the spider. And it was the saddest thing. However, my friend Vartan and I, we were doubled over in laughter because we had watched the whole thing. Jitters kind of like cheaters actually um and every time i talk about this 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 class with my friend Vartan, we are doubled over in laughter talking about it so r.i.p the spider <laughs> that got sat on during class uh, dude you know what i had some good times in college but I had so many more fun times in grad school. Grad school was the best. Cause I feel like, <laughs> I feel like in grad school, like there's a level of like not caring, but also you're, you're more serious, but there's a level of not caring and like just getting into trouble and not really caring. My friend Sarah, oh my gosh, she's gonna like have my head for this. She should show up for graduate seminar like with glasses on, sunglasses on, like like 10 minutes late with Starbucks in her hand. She used to walk in in the back. And it was a small class. So like if you walked in like late, everyone saw you. <laughs> but she just didn't care. And we all graduated and got master's degrees. I, I don't know how we did that. Wait, who's here? Oh, it's Derwin, he's so cute. So cute. How are we doing? Oh man. <gasps> um, I was on the toilet once and a spider descended Mission Impossible style down from the ceiling and I screamed. Jess, I'm so sorry that happened to you. Um, that is horrific. And that reminds me of another story. The bug stories just don't stop. So one time I was staying in a bed and breakfast with someone and I was asleep. And, but it was like in the morning when you're asleep and you're just kind of waking up at your, you go back to sleep. I felt in my sleep, like in my dreams, I, I felt, and I still like, this still like upsets me to this day. I felt like this. Like a spider just climbing 
just crawling on my face. But I was asleep, so I didn't really... You know, if you're asleep, you, you're like, am I dreaming? And then I woke up. And when I woke up, right above my head, it had started to ascend uh, to the ceiling. It was a real, actual spider. It was crawling on my face. That was horrible. I just... I cannot. I'll never forget that. Like, the, the opal, the, the, the invasiveness of it all. <laughs> the invasiveness of it all. Traumatized. And we're not talking, we're just not talking about roaches. We're not. We're not. If you, if you guys, listen, <laughs> Jackie. Listen, if you guys if you guys ever watch Kang Gaming, he'll tell you about the time that he had like a roach crawl across his face or, or a pillow or something like that. Listen. <laughs> Michelle, you had a crush on Mr. T. I pity the fool. Really? See, that's an interesting one. That's an interesting one. <laughs> Worst fear unlocked. It was it was horrifying. But but here's the thing. Like I mean, I've had numeral numeral. Okay, it's Claudia. I've had many spiders crawl on me before. Um but, you know, it's just, you don't want it consciously happening. Gabby, welcome. And Gabby, you were disgust, because I got your Ava. <laughs> I've had more spiders bite me when I was minding my own business than I care to, to, to talk about. Like, I literally am minding my own business. You know, like, I've, I was, I've been at the barn, because I used to ride horses a lot, and I literally was minding my own business spider crawls on me gonna bite i'm like li listen i'm just here existing you know like you didn't need to crawl on me and bite these, these weren't like poisonous spiders they were just like barn spiders who were like just in the mood to be a jerk you know like why would you do that new member Susu Sala, thank you so much for becoming a member. Enjoy your early access to videos and emotes. Enjoy! Yay! <laughs> Spiders is a no for me. Yeah, there's a... Since I've moved into this house, I've noticed that, like, in the lower level, and actually in the, in the upper level here, there's, like, some spiders, but I don't mind. I don't mind. I don't mind. The ones, some of, we've put a couple out, but like most of them, oh my gosh, not the bear we're looking for. But if they're like look daddy long legs or whatever, I'll just leave it. <laughs> I'll just leave it. <laughs> Jen! Oh, your daughter asked how Clover was? He's good. He's asleep in the corner. Wait, you can see him on main cam. Oh, no, you can't. Hold on. Whoa. I can't turn this. There he is. You can barely see him. Okay, that was not, that was this, I can't turn this. Hello. Don't you want to know for science? No. <laughs> Aren't daddy long legs harmless? Yeah, they're pretty harmless. The little, the little daddy long leg spiders. I mean, I'm not really like, I'm not too bothered by them. Now, if I was a real nerd, I would point out that daddy long legs that we talk about. Is this, I'm like, okay. That when we refer to daddy long legs, we refer to a couple of different animals. One of them is an actual spider. The other is a harvestman. 
which is not a spider. And those are the daddy long legs that like little kids, mean little kids are taking the legs off of. Don't do that. Harvest men are kind of cute. So there's a daddy long leg spider. And also, oh, it's Tia. Hello. And also a daddy long legs, the harvest men. Oh my god, Jess? Qu Queensland giant ma wood moth? Okay, people who are scared of moths, what is the fear? <laughs> I just want to know. Because I don't, I've never ever been scared of a moth. Because I just, they're not after me, they're not going to bite. They're just kind of, uh, they're just kind of dusty. Right? Why is the moth, isn't moth, aren't moths just kind of like butterflies? You know? I think they're super erratic and cr frequently crash into things. I mean, okay, sure. The texture freaks you out, okay. <laughs> the erratic flight pattern. It's the flight pattern like bro flight the rhythm. <laughs> Jen, you're also afraid of butterflies? Oh no! Then you can't you can't go to like the butterfly like uh, exhibit at like the science museum. That's not for you. Patty again. I love the butterfly exhibit. Like I oh my god, it's so magical. It's, 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 they're magical. They land on you and stuff. I feel like when a butterfly lands on me, I'm like blessed in some kind of way. Do not discuss cicadas with you. <laughs> okay, I mean, unpopular opinion. I kind of like the sound of cicadas. Like, I like, I like the sound of cicadas in late summer. I think it's nice. Dude. If you live in Australia... If you live in Australia, I have so much respect for you. Cause y'all have, you guys have things that are not only like giant, but are also trying, actively trying to hurt you, which is like weird. Love bugs are the worst. I did not miss those. Yeah, love bugs are weird. <sighs> Oh, the 17 year old, you know what? I've experienced that. It's very biblical. I mean, I thought it was cool when I got to experience the six Kades in 2004, but like it was, we it was weird. It was an experience. EJ, hello, welcome. Welcome. Where did you come home from? Mm, Diana, not gonna do it. Jackie, you think love bugs are fun? I literally, I literally had never seen them until I went to Hilton Head. I was like, "Whoa!" 2004 cicadas were cool this year. <laughs> Did you have them in New York? Oh, you had to pick up something from a friend. Okay, cool. I uh, the cicadas. Um, because they sleep underground for so long, they're not like the best flyers. So when there are like thousands of them flying all around you, it, you're going to get hit by one or 80. And it was like a really weird time. <laughs> Go back to the moth issue. Well, what's the, what's the moth issue? I okay honestly I I've like what would I handled so many moths as a child like I would I handle them like pick that like I'd pick them up and I know that the little the little like dust and on their wings comes off on your fingers so like I didn't handle them too much after that um but I never I never was like scared of them it's Stella. What are love bugs? They are, it's not, they're not wholesome actually. Well, okay. Real talk. Mother nature is not super wholesome. 
Love bugs are found in pairs. And um they're having a they're having like they're having like mommy and daddy moments. Like all the time. They're like attached. It's it's kind of so that's why they're called love bugs. Yep. <laughs> they're having a moment. They're having relations. Thank you, Michelle. They're having long going relations. Oh my god, it's eight. I have to get off. All right, we'll give it. We'll give it a few more minutes. <laughs> where, where is a villager? Come on. Ah, <sighs> pee hands. They are woo wooing. Thank you, Jess. They are woo wooing constantly. If you play The Sims, you know what we're, you know what we're saying. You know what we're saying. <laughs> They'll mess up your car, in terms of like the like messes up the paint. So there. I love that with every new Sims pack, they include, well, not every, but like in a lot of new Sims packs, they include a place, an additional place where you, your Sims can woo woo. Or woo woo. <laughs> kind of funny. The, the grossest one of those is in like the trash, the trash bin, like the, dr the dumpster. What do they get in your car? I think that the residue from them, um, like if you hit them, or like if they cr get crushed on your car, I think there's a there's a chemical in it that messes up the paint in your car. Is that right? <laughs> I feel like that's the thing. <laughs> oh, again? Big Fish Island, like we're here all the time. Or Finn Island, yeah. Hello? Look, we're at Finn Island. Cool. Is there any, is there a village right now? Or do I have to go like over here? Is it at the top? Oh, it's Rasher, okay. Well, that, that was gonna be real exciting, you know? Every season I have to violently scrab the bugs off my car. Ew. Ew. Tyra, that's why you have chip paint on your car? <laughs> Could be. Live in a farm and around spring, summer, you get these small bugs and they get in your eyes and mouth and ears and scr Oh. That's unpleasant. That's unpleasant. <laughs> the conversation <laughs> last night on past stream was real. Was hot dogs are really sandwiches and not. <laughs> Single bug line. <laughs> Wait a minute, though. Hot dogs are not sandwiches, though. Well, what is a hot dog if it's not a sandwich? This is getting like existential. Is a hot dog a sandwich? I'm upset. <laughs> okay, this is the this is the logic. Wait, a hot dog is not a sandwich because it wraps around three sides. <laughs> um, what is what is the the qualifier, Bianca? What is the qualifier for a sandwich? <laughs> it's a t okay, listen. Listen. This is the answer. It is a taco. <laughs> it is a taco. End of conversation. 
It's a taco. There you go. There you go. End of debate. By the way, also, I had um, a hot dog like earlier this week. It's pretty good. It was pretty good. <laughs> Who are we hunting for? Anybody cute, but mostly Teddy and Lucky. Although this is not going very well. I, 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 I should probably like cut this short in like 10 minutes. Actually, let's put a timer on because like I got I really have to get off of here. If I have to take this into tomorrow, I might. I'm not even joking. Hold on. Hold on, friends. Um, how do, how do I add a timer? <laughs> All right, here we go. New. OK, countdown. Where, where is it? Here it is. OK, this is it. This is it. <laughs> How was it a taco that not even Mexican? Well, I mean, it didn't have to be Mexican to be a taco, right? Uh, it's, it's Tybalt. Tybalt. <laughs> Grinders are sandwiches, and therefore hot dogs are sandwiches. Mm, I suppose. Grinders are something else. Well, grinders spell like that is definitely something else. <laughs> definitely, 100%. It has to be Mexican to be a taco. What about those like dessert tacos? You know? Those dessert tacos. That's all I gotta say. <laughs> Amelia, I'm sorry. <laughs> Yeah, what is a sandwich? What what is the, what is a sandwich? Is a sandwich just concerned with layers? Cuz I feel like a sandwich is like just layers of items. But that also then like a canapé is not a sandwich. <laughs> Dessert tacos are just Americans being disrespectful again. I mean, you're not wrong. <laughs> you're not wrong. Is a hamburger a sandwich? I think a hamburger is definitely a sandwich. <laughs> Friendly I am, almost done. Is lasagna a sandwich? No, right? Okay, this is um, Queenie. It's a sausage roll, okay. I. <laughs> I'm sorry, Amelia. <laughs> it's a hot dog, a hamburger. How many tickets are we in? I mean, too many. How have we not found anyone yet? Is pizza an open sandwich? I don't think so. <laughs> I don't think so. Oh, how is Queenie doing on GameCube Boston? Pro she probably hates me. Oh, and we're not going down this route again where it's cereal soup, because it's just, it's definitely not. I'm gonna shut that down really quickly. Definitely not. <laughs> By the way, I haven't had like, um, like kid cereal in a long time. I mean, as an adult, I would buy Lucky Charms all the time because Lucky Charms are just good, but they're like a dessert. You know, this is what I missed from past stream for like half the stream. Oh my, half the stream. Jeez. Um, Elvis. Also known as Rex. Wait, no, Elvis is not known as Rex. Elvis is Elvis. Rex means king, and I get him mixed up because there's an actual Rex. I hate the lions. The lions are very confusing. <laughs> Wait, wait, I missed, I missed, I missed a comment. <laughs> I can't with y'all. I cannot. I cannot. But I think we have talked about cereal. And I, I, I think that we do agree that, um, 
What was the British version of like uh, fro mini wheats? <laughs> what, like I, that's like it's like old people cereal, but I kind of like it. But isn't it, it doesn't it have a different name in Great Britain? But it's the same cereal. Weedabix? Yeah, shredded wheat. Yeah, shredded shrice. Sorry, sh shredded wheat. It's. <laughs> I'm not. I'm not taking Deirdre again. I'm not taking Deirdre again. <laughs> <laughs> These conversations. <laughs> These conversations are so out of control. If you ran into Raymond, would you take him? I might. Oh, Mo Mona, you're having your first English breakfast soon? Yeah, I don't know what blood sausage tastes like. I've never had it. My husband likes to eat it. I feel kind of weird about it, but maybe I shouldn't, you know? Universe, cereal is not soup. I'll die on this hill. It's not. I'm with you. I am with you. It is not soup. Deirdre is really cute. All right, real talk. We might have to take this into tomorrow, like before, um, before the tour, tours. Has your husband listened to Dona? Oh, I don't, what is that? <laughs> I don't know. Uh, it's a Vladimir. You guys summoned him. You guys summon Vladimir. Oh, it's an it's an album by Kanye West. Oh, you know I don't know. Probably not. Black pudding, either love it or hate it, but needs to be good quality. Yeah, I don't know. <laughs> Vladimir is cute though. I'm not gonna lie. Christina, I don't know what a sandwich really is. I have no idea. What is a sandwich? So here's what's gonna happen if we don't find anybody. Like, then I have to, I have to like take this into tomorrow. And we might have to delay like the, uh, the dream address stream. Cause like, honestly, I'm not gonna like, I'm not gonna let it autofill like last time. I'm done with that. I'm finished. I'm just gonna sleep at the airport. The cheesy bean toasty conversation is so funny. <laughs> All right, here we go. Last two and a half minutes. Oh, it's sprinkle. Goodbye. Yeah, no autofill. I have a lot. I have a lot. I have lots more tickets. Lots more. I'm getting so hungry. Yeah, I really have to like start on dinner. <laughs> and I, I'm gonna make twice the sauce. Twice the sauce tonight. And if you didn't tune in at the beginning of the screen, the beginning of the stream is we're having so roasted sausage. Oh no! First time. We're bringing roasted sausage, Brussels sprouts, and mashed potato. It's gonna be really good. It's gonna be really good. Oh, Joan and Division, you did you did miss a lot. That's okay. You can watch the replay. It's very fun. We've we've had some fun tonight. Y'all won't let that sandwich thing go. <laughs> it's still going on. Clover's like, I really need to go outside. He looks like he, he just wants to go outside. Roasted Brussels sprouts, yes. So good. Let chat vote if you should take the village on last ticket, no way. 
Oh, it's Biscuit! Not the not the doggo we're looking for. Not the doggo we're looking for. Pineapple and pizza is delicious. Page by page life, I agree. Absolutely agree. All right. This is the last ticket until tomorrow. I'm gonna have to like, on my own time, grab tickets from my storage and see if I can make the magic happen tomorrow. Here we go. You're gonna sleep at the airport, it's gonna be epic. We can't get to the island before time runs out, can we? <laughs> Oh, Claire! <laughs> Streamlabs caught <laughs> caught the D word in the uh, in the filter. <laughs> Sorry, Claire. <laughs> That's hilarious. If you leave the airport, does the day reset? Yes, it does. If I leave, if I leave tomorrow, so I can I can I can have it be tonight. To where like it's not gonna be like resetting but if i leave the airport tomorrow then it's all over oh it's poncho poncho's cute but it's he's not the, he's not the bear we're looking for he sh he sh he's a small small jock bear small so small <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, Claire. <laughs> Streamlabs doesn't like puddings. It does not. It does not. All right, friends. I gotta make dinner. I'm sorry this was so like rushed and short, but I had fun with you guys. And um, tune in tomorrow. I don't know what time I'm gonna be streaming tomorrow. I honestly don't know. Maybe another like evening good time, you know? So um, <laughs> I hope you guys had fun. And I hope that you are having a great morning, great afternoon, great evening, wherever you are. And I, I guess I'll see you tomorrow. I can't believe we didn't find anybody. What the heck? All right. Bye, guys. <laughs>